Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus, child of God. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord honor you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord Almighty bless you. I do not know where you are hearing the sound of my voice from. But beloved, I am here to announce to you that you are privileged to be used of the Lord for this great assignment. Sorry, I couldn't make it online at the appointed time. First, my, my internet was messing up. But glory be to God, it has respected itself. And secondly, <laughs> I am very, very tired. I'm telling you. So we're going to try our best today. We are going to try our best today. Please share. Share and invite somebody. Share and invite somebody. In our prayer today, God told me to summarize the prayer from Nigeria tonight. So, beloved, get ready. We are going to be summarizing every of the prayers tonight. But I want you to understand our focus of prayer tonight. Our focus of prayer is to ask the Lord to rebrand. To rebrand the image of Nigeria. To take up Nigeria as a potter takes up the clay. When he finds out that the clay is not displaying his will for him. We are going to ask the Lord to take up Nigeria as a pot that takes up the clay. And we are going to ask him to remold us, to rebrand us, and to reintroduce us to our world as different entities. That identity that is making us Nigerians to be seen as evil everywhere we go. That identity that is even making men and women living in our country to see us as evil. We are going to ask the Lord today to deal with that old identity and to give us a new identity. Yes, we are crying out to God for this new identity because we know he is well able to do it. When there was an alteration in the identity of Jabez, he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord changed his identity. We may not know what brought about um, the negative identity, the negative image that we Nigerians are having in the diaspora and even among ourselves. We see ourselves as enemies. We may not know what brought about that. But God, who was there before the foundation of the earth began, he knows the source. And we are going to cry out to that God today and say, Father, kill the old identity of this country, Nigeria. Kill the old identity of this country, Nigeria. That old identity that has enslaved our, so our brothers and sisters abroad, that have enslaved our sons and daughters abroad and even in our country. Lord, tonight, in agreement as Nigerians, we ask that your spirit will kill that old identity. Please break open your mouth and begin to cry out to God. Say, Father, kill that old identity of Nigeria, making both the good and the bad to look bad before anybody. As long as you say you are from Nigeria, they tag you as a bad person. When you know as an individual you're not a bad person, say, Father, I refuse to be identified with this fake identity. I refuse my brothers and sisters to be identified with this fake identity. My father, my maker, as I begin to pray right now in agreement with your daughters in agreement with your son kill every old identity every old identity of this country Nigeria in the diaspora even in our country itself kill this identity oh Lord portray us as evil portray everybody that comes from anything called Nigeria as evil say father rebrand our identity pick us up as a, as a, as a potter 
because it's clear and remove us, remove us, remove us, remove us. Father, any area you need to break us, break us, my father, break us, my father, break us, my father, break our country. Anywhere you need to break us, Father, break us and remove us, rebrand us and reintroduce us to our world, reintroduce us to our world, reintroduce us to our world. We refuse to continue with this identity passed on to us by our ancestors, by our ancestors who refuse to hand over this negative button onto our children. Father, today we are here crying out at as mothers, as brothers, as men, as women, as Nigerians, and we ask that you, God, will take away that old identity, take away that fake identity, take away that old identity, give Nigeria a new identity, give Nigeria a new identity, give Nigeria a new identity, give us Nigerians a new identity in anywhere we go from today, that at the end of everything, my father, your name alone will be glorified, and the shame will remain that of the devil, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen, 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 beloved, I agree with you in that prayer, Ah, I ask that the Lord of hosts, who knows you, who knows your heart and sees my heart, may he hear us, God told me, he said, I am not looking for crowd to pray this prayer, he said he's not looking for crowd, he said he sought for a man that will stand and amend the hedge, beloved, of our ancestors has broken an edge. They have destroyed the real identity of this country. But as our amen will turn down right now, I demand that the Holy Ghost will take over right now. I demand that God the Father will take over right now. I demand that Jesus will take over right now. Let him take over all the tribes. Let him take over all the local governments. Let him take over all the states. Let him take over the government houses. Let him take over Asoroka. Let him take over every Every tribe of this nation and change our identity. Let that be a remolding. Let that be a rebranding by the power of the Holy Ghost. And let us be reintroduced to our world in the will of God, according as the Lord has proposed for us as a nation, for us as Nigerians. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Rekabado sharabada. Beloved, we are still praying. You are going to pray and say, Father, you know, at times because of the wonderful set of leaders we have, because of the wonderful set of leadership we have in this country, those of them that are not knowledgeable enough, that are not spiritually at a lot to identify when a trap is set to enslave their citizens, because of that, their myopic mentality, beloved, ah, this country has been enslaved so much. We have been put into different traps in different dimensions. We are going to ask the Lord for wisdom for our leaders. Wisdom for our leaders. But the ones that are going out, but the ones that are coming in, but whether the, whether the country is going to split, ask the Lord for wisdom. Ask the Lord for wisdom. Wisdom to navigate every satanic trap of the enemies of this country, pretending to be helpers, pretending to be lovers of this country. Ask the Lord to give us wisdom to navigate. Wisdom to navigate. Let him release wisdom upon our leaders. Wisdom to navigate. Wisdom to be able to design. When these enemies pretending to be helpers are trying to enslave generations yet unborn, open your mouth and pray and say, Father, we ask for wisdom. You say, is there any of you that lack wisdom? Let them ask liberally. Ah, unto you, God, that give it. And you, God, will give unto them. So then, Lord, we ask for wisdom for all the leaders at the village level, at the local government level, at the state level, at the national level, at the international bodies where Nigeria is represented. We ask for wisdom. We refuse them, oh Lord. Those that are in charge of decision making who refuse them from entering into decisions that will keep on enslaving Nigeria anywhere they go. Lord, we ask for wisdom. Release unto us from Nessus. Release unto our leaders from Nessus. Release even unto our, our 
our brothers and sisters abroad. Wisdom, my father, to be able to navigate, to be able to escape the evil traps of the enemy, meant to enslave us, meant to enslave Nigerians, meant to keep us in captivity forever, meant to keep us in labor and never to eat the fruit of our labor, meant to keep this country underdeveloped. Lord, even as this new leadership is going on, hey, whomever is going to tell the seat of authority, Lord, endure him with wisdom, endure him with understanding, endure him with the ability to design, that he will not lead this country into more enslavement, that he will not lead this country into more enslavement, to the exaltation of your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, right away in agreement with you. Ah, we declare wisdom release unto our leaders. Wisdom release unto all decision makers of this country, whether in Nigeria and in the diaspora. There will no more Jehovah make decisions that will put us into more troubles. Give them wisdom, Lord, to navigate every demonic trial from enemy nations, pretending to be friends in the name of Jesus Christ supreme. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, I might not be spending much time. Hey, Agabarado, that's one thing about prayers. Uh, before I came online, I was very weak to my to my bones, but to God be the glory. Hey, the devil is defeated. As you can see, I am sweating. Hey, Kalabarado Shatarada. Male Karabada. I know the devil came to attack, but the Lord has given us victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Below, we are going to stand in the gap, especially if you have any relation of yours that is living in the diaspora. You are going to call them by their names and say, Father, every door of blessing, door of honor, door of prosperity, door of, 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 of good goodness that the identity of this country has closed for them. As soon as God is changing the identity of this country right now by the power of the Holy Ghost, let those closed doors break open now. Let those closed doors break open now. Use those your relations as a point of contact. Use that your husband as a point of contact. Use that your uncle, that your nephew as a point of contact. Say, Father, every door of goodness, of blessing, of promotion, of increase that been closed up for Nigerians in the diaspora. Lord, I am using my brother. I am using my husband. I am using my children. I brought as a point of contact. Holy Ghost, move right now to every of the continents of the world. Move right now to all the four corners of the earth. Move with the power and break open every of those closed doors. Break open every of those closed doors of opportunities. Doors of blessings. Doors of goodness. Doors of miracles. Let those doors break open now. 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 Break open now. Holy Ghost, take over every door, Jehovah. That be closed against Peter. That be closed against Adako. That be closed against my brother. A final chopo. A legendo shalabalada. Lord, this hour I use this prayer as the point of contact to all my relations abroad. And I command every of the closed doors to break open alongside with the doors of men and women that are from this nation that have been closed. Let the doors of freedom, freedom of movement. Freedom of assessing goodness in those nations be opened, be opened, be opened, and let it remain open forever. Let it remain open forever. No more shall this country and my sons and daughters suffer abroad again because the Lord has changed our identity in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen, amen, amen. 
Beloved, right now, in agreement with you, using our brothers and sisters, using our relations in the diaspora, we command every door of goodness, every door of blessing, every door of prosperity, doors of visas, doors of visas, doors of nationality. I don't know the doors they have closed, but Father, you know it. Move right now by your power, Holy Ghost, and break open every of those doors. Break open every of those doors, and let these doors remain open forever. Let these doors remain open forever. Let these doors remain open forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Beloved, in case you don't know, today is the official independent day of Nigeria. <laughs> Am I right? Hey, is it democracy? I don't know. Is it democracy or independence? I don't know. Freedom Day. Whichever one. Freedom Day. Democracy. Sorry. It's the official democracy day. Tomorrow they will be marking it. But today we are actually marking it. We are going to ask them, say, Father, this country has moved into independence. This country has moved into democracy. But we are still, we don't still have freedom of speech as Nigerians. Today, Lord, we activate that word called democracy in this country. We activate democracy in Nigeria in the realm of the spirit. We activate democracy in Nigeria in the realm of the spirit. We ask that the Holy Ghost will take over all the tribes, all the local governments, all the states, the Asorok, and let, and let them democracy be activated. Let democracy be activated. Let our independence be activated. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, Father, we refuse to be free and still live in bondage and still live in fear. Even in our own country. By the power of the Holy Ghost as this country is officially hey, as this country is officially marking that the democracy day today even that they are going to celebrate it tomorrow Lord we decree and declare that democracy is activated spiritually and physically that democracy is activated spiritually and physically that democracy is activated spiritually and physically in all the tribes of this country in all the nations of this country in all the continents of this country in all the local governments of this country is activated is activated, is activated, is activated in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, as you pray that prayer with me, in case you don't know, beloved, the spiritual controls the physical. Even though our nation is celebrating democracy, we celebrate the, we celebrate independence. But the truth is, if we don't activate it spiritually, that will not be a physical manifestation. That will not be a transition from the old to the new. Tonight, in agreement with you as a Nigerian, as a Nigerian in the diaspora, as a Nigeria, as, as a Nigerian resident, we activate democracy in Nigeria. We activate our independence in this country. We refuse to continue to depend in any nation again. May the Lord himself be our source and our dependence in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, <coughs> excuse me, tomorrow, being independent, I know, uh, being democracy day, I know that most of you will be in your churches Praying one prayer or the other. So we are going to speak into the womb of this week. So that we can actually have your freedom to go to your church. To go there and do whatever you want to do. Without uh, saying, ah, mama will be coming online, okay? I will not be coming online tomorrow to pray. I can just post some few prayer points for specific reasons. Uh, and then prayer point for awaiting months. Uh. But I want us to speak into this new week. Uh. The Lord said it's going to be our week of it is done. 
Our week of it is done. I don't know what you have been praying about. You are going to pray and say, Father, in this brand new week, let this word be activated over this my matter. Let this your word for this new week be activated over this my case. Be activated over my conception issue. Be activated over my marriage and my ministry. As you said, it is my week of it is done. It is my week of it is done. Lord, let that be settlement over all my night's cry. Let that be settlement over this my problem. Let it actually be done, Jehovah. Let it actually be settled, Jehovah. And let your name alone be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we prophesy and we decree that this week only goodness and mercy shall follow us. Only blessings shall follow us. We shall dwell in sound health. We shall encounter blessings like never before. As this morning is our month of testimonies. We shall testify on Monday. We shall testify on Tuesday. We shall testify on Wednesday. We shall testify on Thursday. We shall testify on Friday. We shall testify on Saturday. Ah, Jehovah, even on Saturday is the day for our waiting moms to carry their miracle babies. It shall be settled for them indeed. They will testify as they come to that program at the Allen Exponential Hall Ale Koto Bali Garada that will be settled indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost take over. Shield us as you shield that job and his family and everything they have on every side. That the end of this week, Lord, we all shall return with testimony, glorifying your name and saying, Indeed, it is done. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, it is settled, it is settled, it is settled. But before I go off your way, as an intercessor that have been standing in the gap for Nigerians for the past five days, in fact, the Lord told me to end the prayer today, that it is already done. As a person that has joined this prayer, whether you joined once, whether you joined twice, whether you joined thrice, whether you joined for the five days, I want you to place a demand. The Bible said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, that when we seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, every other thing shall be added unto us. What is that thing that has been giving you sleepless nights? That you want God to add unto you just in one minute. Open your mouth specifically ask God for that thing right now. Specifically ask God for that thing right now. Ask God for that promotion. Ask God for that your triplets. Ask God for that your marital settlement. Ask God for that your deliverance. Ask God to restore that your marriage. Open your mouth and speak. Let your mouth be on your side. The angels are taking record. Let your mouth be on your side. The angels are taking record. Ask the Lord for that thing, that thing that must turn to testimony. That thing that must turn to testimony. That thing that must turn to testimony. Say, Father, this matter has overstayed his welcome. In my life. Restore my marriage. Restore my husband freedom. Restore us, O oh Lord. Restore us, O oh Lord. Restore us, O oh Lord. Hey, every awaiting mom, my father, I ask that you God will settle them in this week of their testimony. And let your name alone, my father, be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Ah, I am the first to testify. In fact, <laughs> The Lord is, in fact, the Lord is faithful. You may not understand. You may not understand. I am super excited because the enemy came in like a flood. But glory be to God, I am restored. Glory be to God. As you can see, I am wearing sweater. <laughs> but glory be to God, as you can see, I am sweating. That is the, the, the evidence that the Lord has started his restoration. As the Lord has restored ah, that of mine, may that in which has been a challenge in your life ah, receive divine restoration right now. Receive divine restoration right now. Every of the prayers you have prayed for these five days, ah, I see with the blood of Jesus Christ. Ah, and I ask that the mark of the Holy Ghost will be engrafted on it. Ah, that no power of darkness, no agent of darkness. Ah, 
No evil sacrifice of any sort will be able to reverse it. Will be able to reverse it. Will be able to reverse it. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is settled. It is settled. It is settled. Take over, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, this is the divine instruction. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me. He said, at the end of this uh, prayer for Nigerians, we should shout the name of Jesus 37 times. This 37 times represent the 37 states of this country. And we are going to say, Jesus, let your blood begin to speak. And let it speak restoration of identity. Are you ready to shout that Jesus with me? For 37 times. Number one, Jesus. Number two, Jesus. Number three, Jesus. Number four, Jesus. Number five, Jesus. Number six, Jesus. Number seven, Jesus. Number eight, Jesus. Number nine, Jesus. Number ten, Jesus. Number eleven, Jesus. Number twelve, Jesus. Number thirteen, Jesus. Number fourteen, Jesus. Number fifteen, Jesus. Number sixteen, Jesus. Number seventeen, Jesus. Number eighteen, Jesus. Number nine. Jesus, number 20, Jesus, number 21, Jesus, number 22, Jesus, number 23, Jesus, number 24, Jesus, number 25, Jesus, number 26, Jesus, number 27, Jesus, number 28, Jesus, number 29, Jesus, number 30, Jesus, number 30, Jesus, number 31, Jesus, number 32, Jesus, number 33, Jesus, number 34, Jesus, number 35, Jesus, number 36, Jesus, number 37, Jesus Christ. Take over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Take over this country, Nigeria, and let your will begin to be done from today henceforth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, it is settled. It is done. It is done. God bless you for joining this prayer. God bless you for not being selfish. God bless you for rising up to cry out for your country and for your nation. The Lord bless you indeed. What you have made happen for others, the Lord in turn is making happen for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. I am still your sister, Apostle Maka. God bless you. Do enjoy your democracy. There will not be any meeting tomorrow. The last meeting live will be on Wednesday for a waiting month, but I'll be posting on Facebook. I'll be posting prophetic word on YouTube. Please, if you want to hear what God is saying concerning each day, I'll be sharing the link on Facebook as well. Follow the link and, uh, to YouTube and actually listening today, and it will bless your life. I guess one minute prophetic word, I am done, okay? God Almighty bless you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Wow. I'm super excited. The devil came to weaken me to see if I don't finish the prayer. But beloved, it is done. <laughs> it is done. Somebody shouted and said, it is done. God bless you. Bye.